This is the practice video for Mrs. Piggy. Mrs. Piggy is the song we use to start using our second and third finger. So one of the ways you can practice it is just with your uh, violin fingers. So you can actually aim for two and three. So if you remember the words to Mrs. Piggy, Mrs. Piggy went to town and Mrs. Piggy came back home. Super easy, right? but we need to remember where we use two and three. So the notes are E, E, A, A, D, D, A, A, E, E, A, A, C, C, A. So D is third finger, one, two, three. And C sharp, C is second finger. That's your middle finger, okay? So we can practice singing the note names with the right finger, you can practice saying three instead of D, like E, E, A, A, three, three, A, A, E, E, A, A, two, two, A. You can sing it like that if that helps you get your fingers going. All right, so when you go to the violin, just like we've been doing in class, we've been plopping down our fingers on E string, since that's the closest one to our fingers and then hopping over E to get it onto A string. And that's our monkey swing. We've been practice, practicing slides and swings for quite a while now. So um, when you play this, you can even just start out by seeing if you can tap, count your one, two, third finger on the E string. And you guys might not have tapes at home on your violins. And if you don't, you can bring them in, bring your violin in and I can put tapes on for you. Um, if you bring it in first thing in the morning, then I can do that. I can hook you up with some tapes for your fingers. So you want to practice tapping third finger on the E string, okay? And make sure you slide back. Don't do this. Don't put your wrist up because you're not a waiter or a waitress. You're a violinist, okay? So keep your wrist flat. And so you want to tap three. And then what you can do, you can lift three. And if you're not squeezing the neck of the violin, you can practice your swings. If you practice your swings, you can see your third finger go from being over the E string to over A string, okay? If, you turn, if I turn this way, I don't know if you can see it. So if I move my monkey swing, it's over E right now. But if I go in a little bit, it's over A. E, A, E, A. Remember, I'm backwards from you, okay? So um, make sure you're checking for the skinny string. That's E and the one next to it is A, okay? So you can practice third finger, just bouncing back and forth and with your swings without having your wrist up. Then you can practice with your second finger. This one should be a little bit easier. So you have one, two. Two is gonna go right behind where you put your third finger, okay? And if you're singing this song, even if you don't have tapes, once you're playing, if you put your finger down and it just doesn't sound right, try sliding it around a little bit to see if you can find the note that seems to match better with what you're trying to do. Okay, so you can tap two on E, and then you swing your elbow so you can see it hop over to A string. Okay, so you can see on my third finger tape, and I'm going to put two right behind it and then get three out of there so that I can play two. Okay, so this is what it looks like if I break it all down and play the actual song, okay? So we start on E. So we're going to do big bird rhythm, right? Okay, so we have big bird E. Then we stop rock, go over to A string, another big bird. A, A. Now, here's where we're going to start using our fingers. I want to keep my bow on A string because our third finger has to make it to A string, okay? So I count one, two, three. Wiggle it, you can tap it on E string, swing it over to A, plop it down, and play Big Bird D. D, D. Lift, play another A, A. D, D. Stop rock, go to E. D, D. Stop rock, back to A. A, A, and then this is where we have second figure, our C sharp. So we're gonna count one, two. You can plop it down on E, swing it in to A, Pop it over, push it down a little bit. Big bird cease, 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 lift. And then our last note is just one A, A. Okay, we'll make a big deal out of that one when we play it. We'll do a big sweep, A, okay? 
So if I don't stop, this is what it'll look like. Once I put my third finger down on A string, I left my monkey swing in for A string because I don't have any fingers on E string in this song, so I'm going to keep my monkey swing in. That way when it's time to put two down, all I have to do is drop. I'm already set and ready to go to put it on the A string. Okay, play it one more time from this point of view so you can see here. Hope that helps really practice making sure you're getting the correct finger down. Okay? Good luck, guys.